was gang raped and left for dead, but Sally Dumisa survived. These days she arms herself with a sleeping bag and a laptop and works in Durban's rural areas helping girls and other young women who've fallen victim to violence. Mawanda Keswa speaks to her. What was supposed to be a night out having fun turned into a nightmare for 34-year-old Sally Dumisa. I had gone to an event with a friend and um, I never saw the event. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night, well, 2 a.m. and on the felt, I thought I was dying. Um, luckily, by the grace of God, somebody driving on the highway found me and uh, they stopped and they started phoning my family. Um, I was raped by five guys and they left me for dead on the felt. An ordeal that changed her life. I suffer from severe anxiety, um, I've got my depression in order, but these are all the after effects of going through something that traumatic. She's emerged from the trauma to help others work through theirs. I had encountered a young girl who had been raped in school, and because it was a rural area, they were, there was nothing in place to help them, and she had to go to school every single day with her rapist. And out of that, I was like, if there's anything that I can do, I want to help gender-based violence victims. Dumisa gives talks at rural schools now, and she works with young victims and their families. She also approaches community centers to help with their cases. Over the years, she's built up a network of psychologists, lawyers, and other professionals who can help victims. I want to be that person that I never had for myself, for somebody else. I don't know if that makes sense. So I help young people because I know how difficult it is to try and, and figure out what's wrong with you and find a way to get back to life. Dumisa believes the road to ending the scourge of GBV starts with all men. She says she'll continue helping rural communities with the information and resources they need to feel empowered and cared about. Mawande Keswa, Durban.